It's the start of week five, and it's time to make a plan for the FTC decode season. And it's going to feel a little uncomfortable choosing a decision at this point. And that's okay. That's part of the process. By the end of today's video, you'll have a list of things that you and your team need to complete by the end of the week. I'm Coach Pratt, and I've been teaching robotics and design for over a decade now. And I've mentored FTC teams to winning national championships. So we're going to go through what your builders should be focusing on this week, what your programmers should be focusing on, and what your outreach team can be going on so that you can find the best success in the decode season. So let's take a look. The overarching goal for this week is looking at refined designs and some vision work. So this is a bit of similar to what we're doing the modular design, but now we're talking about refining some of those. So up to this point, you've been doing a lot of prototyping. You've been hopefully testing all your designs, saying what's working. And now we're talking about actually getting to refine them. So you should have some sort of mechanism that you use, be it for your shooter, be it a catapult, be it a flywheel shooter, be it a belt-driven shooter or some other design, some sort of choo-choo mechanism, anything along those lines. You should have a pretty good judge on what might be working well. And for taking that last point, we've started to modularly create your designs. Now is that time to start actually refining some of that initial prototype. So you may have a modular design, but your geometries might be very large. They might not be, they may be taking up more space than they need. You may find that tweaking things in slightly adds some benefit. You may find you have a little lateral instability on certain designs. So now's the time to be taking what has been consistent and what's been working and starting to go ahead and improve on that. It's kind of your first week where you're going to decide, yeah, I need to put my line in the sand and I need to say, yeah, I'm going to be focusing and refining on this design because this is the one that has found the most success. Or this is the type that has been the most successful for me so far. And you want to try to put your stake in the sand based on some of that previous data. And it's going to feel a little uncomfortable choosing a decision at this point. And that's okay. That's part of the process. But know that have you been following through and doing some prototypes and lots of different tests, you've likely found a design that's performing slightly better than your other designs. And this is where it's time to go in. So it's about taking those ideas, making a little better, and make them a little more robust. So that's what the build team should be focusing on because your goal is to really start making some of the designs, improving them so you can get them off the program. Over on the programming team, it's time to continue developing some of the skills for your camera vision. I think in this season, especially using some sort of April tag tracking is going to be really important. So if you have some sort of turret system and you are turning that turret towards, or you have the entire mechanism chassis driving along, Now's a good time to make sure you really know you have that down pat. So whether you're using a limelight falling through some of my tutorials, whether you're using a husky lens, or whether you're using a standard webcam, make sure you understand by the end of this week how to properly calibrate your April tags and how to properly calibrate your sensor's gain as well as its exposure time. Typically, lower exposure times can be better, can remove more, less motion blur, and uh, having a higher gain on your sensor is going to allow you to compensate for that exposure, that reduced exposure, without having to sacrifice some of those frame rates. So that's your goal for the end of the week here. In my, in my opinion, is trying to get to make sure you've got your camera system, fundamental understandings down pat, and not only do you have the understandings, but you've got some quick prototypes with some very simple designs that can show your proof of concept actually works and show you understand how to do this. I'd also recommend you take some time to practice getting your lights and uh, calibrating your amplitude sensor in different lighting conditions. Because it may work right now, but I can tell you that on your qualifier day, unless you're going to be doing the competition in the exact same place that you've been testing and at the exact same time of day that you've been testing, you're likely going to have to recalibrate that April tag sensor or your camera vision sensor to the different light settings that are on there. And last thing for this week is the outreach team. This is now in week five, the right time to start continuing to compile your notes for your engineering portfolio or your engineering journal if you haven't done that. Now's the time to do some social media, keeping some things current. And now's the time to start getting some rough descriptions and uh, from your build team and say, why did you choose this? Or your programming team, why did we choose to make our robot move in this direction? What is our reasoning what kind of risks are we trying to mitigate as we're going through and choosing these kind of designs? And why does this design perform the best out of all the previous prototypes we've done? This is the kind of thinking that judges are going to want to see in that award section. And it's your job to start compiling some of that data while the build team and the programming team are actually working functionally on that robot 
you can help compile and synthesize that data and put it in a way that the judges are going to understand. You can't always assume that the judges are going to be there as true technical mentors, nor really understand all of the things like uh, all the technical jargon, perhaps, like something like a, like a neural network train that you've done yourself on some sort of camera vision, or something like a, a four bar linkage or rack and pinion system, you probably need to be able to uh, dumb that language down a bit so that the layman's persons can understand what it is you're doing. Also a good time to continue on that long-term outreach. How are you doing with impacting your local community? Have you had a chance to follow up with the people from the previous week when you're checking and saying, hey, wonder if we can help you out with that outreach. So this is your kind of main goal here for week five. We're refining our designs, we're doing some vision work, and we're doing energy and portfolio. This week is really just a time to get things done. There's not a whole lot of decisions to be made. It's just let's continue on that good work and that good iterative work we've been doing before. Don't throw designs on the table. Don't start designing something brand new. Iterate upon your previous designs. If you want some more resources like CAD, the ability to connect with me in one-on-one, you can consider joining the community down below. Otherwise, I hope that this is a helpful plan for you this season. And let me know in the comments down below how your team is currently preparing moving into this week five. Best of luck out there this season.